Hello. Call of Duty players. This might seem like a small rant about the state of the COD games in general, but in this video I want to go over the ending and bring up a scenario to see how the game could have went into a different direction. And then I'll throw in some of the tidbits of information along that. So if you learn something new or find the video enjoyable, so let's get started. The whole missile storyline is dumb. Especially after the events of the Modern Warfare 2 reboot, okay fine, if you want Makarov out of prison, already causing global destruction, it makes things worse. One for one had the opportunity to kill Makarov when they had the chance, well, let's just say they couldn't just bin lot him like the Navy SEALs. Yeah, I don't know, it's just the storyline that would end every possible event from there on. Take out all of this filler and have the boys murder that fuck, but if you move the filler, then the game will be even more shorter than it already is. Have to pad out that runtime, huh? Let's take a trip to memory lane. When the original Modern Warfare 3 came out, I want to talk about this because I don't think nobody has. Where is the Marines? Like, like the Marines section. You never get to play as Frost or Sandman. You get that military brother arms feel, having that two perspective, seeing how the actions of each side can infect the other. It gives it more of an immersive feel to it. What, did they run out of time to add one or two scenes of them? No, 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 no. They add open world missions instead, which could have been US Marine scenes instead. Could have been Marine scenes instead, just saying. I could be wrong, but I don't think you could have gotten any army rangers at all. Just one for one people, and that's it. I mean, speaking like seeing any of them during the missions of like in past or anything like that. No references? Seriously? What a shame. Sorry for the tangent, I just want to talk about that because it seems like that could have been a missed opportunity, in my opinion. Okay. I'm throwing another example. Now, I don't believe Activision would ever extend the Modern Warfare series to like a 4th edition or a spin-off because to see how retarded the storyline is already is, that will put the writing into a deeper hole into which they can't go back from, right? So with the upcoming Black Ops 6, into which I'll get into a little bit later, after what other direction can they go? Not World War 2. Also, I'm assuming people are tired of the jetpack era and how that turned out to be. There has also been other worlds that have been going on, wars that I mean. It doesn't necessarily have to be major wars in World War II, but it could be like minor wars or other wars that's not World War II related that I'm sure they can go through history to figure that out. What about any of the mini wars that have been going on? You could extend that to further or maybe just what if, like what if examples that could have happened in wars if so and so didn't happen, you know what I mean? Or just extend it to like how wars are now from like 2000 on up. You can do any wars of that era if they really want to do that. Just saying. Now, back to Model for 3. Now with Soap being dead, truthfully Price should also be dead too because of the toxic chemicals he consumed during the beginning missions. But we'll just gloss over that. I want to tell you how the story should have went from beginning to end and not just tiny examples. Now if you want to start off with Makarov escaping the gulag, how that happened, I don't know. He should have just stayed buried and dead from all I know. Now let's say if that happened right, him escaping from the gulag, everybody and their mothers would know he escaped. So the first example would be, okay what is his, you can go from here. His subordinates, his underlings, because every top person has like people below them, right? So military ranking, you could just go after them, right? Take down the female that runs his finances. So without the backing of money, he can't really do that much. I'm just saying financially. And you got his right hand man, and you can uh, combine forces with not just warfare one for one, but with SEAL Team Six or the Marines. I'm just saying, and you can go after them, either interrogate them or just straight up kill them. Because you just take out them out, the hierarchy will crumble. The snake from the head, you know, from the, that example. And Makarov is going to show him show himself eventually. So you can either wait it out for that time or start fishing for like past and present, like meetup spots, past locations, associates, things like that. And like again, you can interrogate them, kill them all, things like that. Now, we can also address Shepard. After one failed mission, and you know what I'm talking about, there's a prefer of missile missions that happened. Um, After you put two and two together and how that 
fall apart, you realize he's a part of the problem and they should arrest him point by player. I don't care if he's a general or whatnot. This hierarchy is now a military court is different from civilian court. Obviously, there's different things that go into that. But if he starts fucking off, a, a point by pistol to the head should do the job. I'm just saying. Okay. Like the writing is so fucking terrible. It's simple. Makarov escapes, the government agencies pull together, one of the biggest known terrorists in the world, obviously you will combine multiple factions, CIA, the marines, um, any, any other agencies, you pull them together as a, like a combined unit, not just one small ass spec, like special forces unit, they will find him, hunt him down, and then shoot him dead. There is no red tape when thousands of lives are at stake, especially since he was able to escape a maximum security jail once. He can do it again if you arrest him, just saying. But yeah, but instead we get a garbage ending like this to once a beloved trilogy into a dumpster fire. And that's how the story should be changed. I hear a whole United States group effort, not just one small ass specs team, hunt and kill off the small members of Makarov and then kill him. Or just, not just that, or straight up kill Makarov instead and the rest of the organization will submit in time. I hope you get the picture, but for now, let me know what ending you would like for this game down in the comments. Now, for this section, I wanna- Down in the comments. Now, for this section, I wanna talk about this upcoming Black Ops game now, I'm not pre-ordering this game with how bad Modern Warfare 3 was. I'm on a wait and see attitude. Definitely wait on gameplay. Frost, toss a nine banger. And wait on the storyline. I'm never again falling for falling for the falsehoods of Treyarch, Sledgehammer, and or any other game studio that has worked on this game. I don't care how long they develop this game. They can develop this game for fucking 10 hours. Fuck it. Probably the development time was spent wondering how many bundles they can add per purse per season pass. Cold War, Cold War, in my opinion, was the best card game we had in several years. I would say expand on that formula, add more stealth missions, make them choose your own adventures, meaning where you can accomplish the mission in different ways. Heck, I would like the campaign to be somewhat similar to that in general. I would also say after the Black Ops 6 and if they can continue the Black Ops series, how long are they going to use Alex Mason and Woods as main characters for? Now Ale Alex Mason's son, known as Section, was in Black Ops 2. Why not add him into more games during the current era, maybe early 2000s or early uh, 2010s in the Iraqi war, Afghanistan wars, anything like that. I don't know if the sentiment is coming, but eventually if you use the same main characters over and over again, it may grow stale and boring. Just saying. That's my opinion. I don't know. Again, most of the game is being built by Treyarch, this upcoming game, and I can give two shits about it. Granted, they are the better studio in making the games overall but that doesn't matter when you're still under activision so they can still fuck things up keep brown based zombies stop removing it for fucking warzone zombies they don't fucking understand they should add co-op story modes for uh if you're going to do this open world style missions have have a co-op partner online partner that you can do the missions with that would make it more interesting. Like if they want to design it to Warzone, you might as well add core features, but I guess they too lazy for it. Or design it where into a way of spec up. So hey, or have an AI partner with you. So when you go into like different missions, you can direct them to do certain actions with you, command them, like other games have done so in the past. So it's something that can be done. Like again, lazy game design so i don't think they want to do it but they should to maybe give a little emphasis on the open world missions i'm just saying but i don't know this is a lot to handle i i do ramble a lot and i apologize for that but in the sad state of call of duty now it's just obviously everybody is dunking on them and i don't know the current sentiment of this black Ops 6 game i don't know how it's going to be like i'm not 
enthusiastic about it at all and i want them to be better i don't think they'll be better they just only think about greed they don't think about how many bundles they can put on and they only think about the whales that's going to splurge out when the foam at the mouth when the new uh character arrives in the game they have for like i don't know for like a promotional event you know what i'm saying but i don't know we'll see but i hope you enjoyed the video um like i said before if there's an ending that you think that should have been changed please let me know i don't think this video will, will uh go out there anyways so i'm just saying shit to be <laughs> to basically to be saying shit but yeah um i think what i said is pretty valid as far as like the uh the model over three series in this upcoming black up uh black up six series so yeah other words hopefully you enjoyed the video um this is prime excellence peace out